And a man who suffered cardiac arrest while on the job has made a full recovery thanks to his co-workers. They were able to administer CPR and use an automated external defibrillator before paramedics arrived. The man got to meet his heroes this morning as officials honored their quick actions. Alina Lee has more. Bruce Butella calls himself a miracle. And I'm here because of you people. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. It was, uh... I have no recollection of that day. I, I, I don't even remember going to work. He was working at a construction site at the airport in October when he suffered cardiac arrest. I thought it was indestructible. His co-workers were the first to call 911, locate an AED, and perform CPR while waiting for paramedics. Kind of like intense at that moment. He's not breathing. He's out, cold out. And we just perform what we learn from CPR and how to use the AED. We never lose focus on them. We treat cardiac arrest quite commonly. We don't always have a good result. So it's amazing to see a patient like this that actually is walking, talking, uh, and, is, and is fully functioning. It's, it, it just shows uh, what is possible if everything comes together right. State officials honored his co-workers and first responders who worked together to keep Butella alive. Without them, we would not be here today. He would be... In hell. <laughs> but no, we're very, very blessed and very thankful for this, actually. The community reminded of the importance of learning CPR and having AEDs in public spaces. The airports now have, I think, over 70 saved lives on airport property with something like a 70% survival rate for cardiac arrest compared to a national rate of 10%. We now have them in all city buildings. There's a bill before the Senate now that may put them in all in state buildings. According to officials, sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in the U.S. with more than 350,000 people suffering one every year. Alina Lee, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.